Chris feel? Obviously not the result you expected wanted, but how do you feel? Yeah, um, I mean, coming into today, I felt really confident, especially, I mean, at USA's, I thought I, I could have responded to any kind of move, and I felt really ready. Today was similar in that sense, and I felt like with 600 meters to go, I was going to have, like, what it took to really make sure I was where I wanted to be um, in the last lap, and I guess it just wasn't quite enough today. Like, I felt really confident with 600 meters to go, and um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You were in fourth position, and, you know, then the 200 meters to go, did you just tighten up, or what was going on last time? Yeah, time? I mean, I don't know. I think it's hard to say. I mean, if I had the answer, that's... That would be great <laughs> if I knew exactly what it was. But do you think that having la uh, the American trials just last week played an effect in terms of your? Um, um, I don't know about necessarily an effect because I think a lot of people race often and come back and do incredible things, and I have to be ready for rounds at the Olympic trials. So I'm not gonna think too much about that. But um, I think it's just still learning and still getting experience. I've raced some of these women before um, who were in my heat and the first heat as well. At the world, like at the world championships, at races overseas, and I think it's just getting a little bit more of that awareness, like growing as an athlete. Like you know, I see Brenda, and like she's she's at the elite level. She's gonna medal at world championships and Olympic games, and that's where I want to be. But it's also gonna take a little patience. I think I, I think I compete, and I think that like half the battle is being able to run fast times, and the other half is like being confident in your race and like knowing how to race and. Um, that's something I think that I'm, I think I'm good at it, but I think I need to still learn a lot. And that's just going to be put, being put in positions like this, like making teams is a huge lesson every time. So, yeah. Looking back on the indoor season, how do you, <coughs> what do you come away from it? Do you, is it as you expected? I mean, with highs and lows, what? Give yeah. it a grade, I guess. I think, um, I mean, I'd give myself an A. I didn't run indoor last year. And I think this year, the first couple races were kind of getting my legs back under me and remembering what it feels like to make those sharp turns and like get elbowed on the starting line like I just did <laughs> and that kind of stuff happens like that's part of it and that's like the grittiness of it and what I love about it so it's fun but it also reminds me like I'm gonna step on the outdoor track this coming in two weeks from now down in Florida that's a whole other game like I think I'm a little bit bigger than some of the women that I race against I want a little bit more room to run <laughs> and I like outdoor because I get that <laughs> yeah yeah, I'll go back to Boston, pack a bag, and get a bathing suit, go to Florida for five days, see my family in Mississippi, which is always like, a, it's just kind of like a, it's just a huge refresher, I would say, like, running isn't my sole purpose when I'm there, like, I'm not constantly thinking about it, waking up in my routine, but I'm going to go home for three days and see my family, which I, I need sometimes. <laughs> Thank you.